So recently I stumbled across this Instagram account and as we look at the videos here, we can see that they're just getting a ton of views. This one has 40 million views, 900,000, 2.6 million, 97 million, 27 million, and so on. And so really all this account is doing is using AI to generate sort of interesting architecture and then add a little bit of animation. For example, if we just take a look at this one right here. Okay, so you get the idea. And these videos are actually quite simple to create. So I'm just going to choose one of the videos here and see if we can replicate something similar. I'll just choose this one, which has 75 million views. Let's take a look. So let's see if we can create something similar. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this clip and I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard right here. And then I'm gonna open up ChatGPT and we're just gonna paste this image into ChatGPT and I'm gonna say, please describe this image. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with here. Okay, so now ChatGPT has made a description of the image, but just to make it a little bit better for image generation, I'm gonna say, please, turn this into an AI image generation prompt for mid journey. Okay, so now it has turned that into a mid journey prompt. So I'm just gonna click copy the code. And now I'm gonna come over to mid journey right here. And let's just paste that prompt in here. And I'm not even gonna check it. Let's just hit enter and see what happens. Now here, I'm just gonna click rerun so we can have a good selection to choose from. And so this is the end result right here. I've got some pretty interesting images here. So I'm gonna choose a few of these images and then basically just continue this process for the following images on that Instagram video. All right, so at this point, I have all of the images that I wanna use. So now the next step is to add some animation to these images. And so for this part, I'm going to use a tool called Immersity. And so all I need to do for this is basically just drag the image into the tool right here. And just like that, it's going to process the image and add some animation, some dynamic motion. And so now we can see it has this really cool sort of animated effect. And so here on the right hand side, I can choose between these different animation options to make it move vertical, horizontal circle, and so on. In this case, I'm going to choose the zoom effect. I like how it's kind of just zooming towards the window like this. And so now all I have to do is click export. And then from here, I'm going to click MP4 3D motion, click next again, and then one more time. And here I can choose between 30 or 60 frames per second. I'm just going to leave it on 30 and hit export. I am using the paid version of this, which will use a certain amount of credits every time you export one of the animations. And that's pretty much it. Now I can just click download. And now I have this clip ready for the project. So now I'm just going to repeat this process for the following images. Two thousand years later. Okay, so at this point I have all of my animated clips right here. So now I can go ahead and start the editing process. So I'm just going to take all the clips and drag them into the timeline right here. And now I can basically just go through and edit these clips and order them how I want to. Okay, so I've just finished putting my clips together. And just for fun, I'm going to play the video on Instagram and then I'll play the video that I just created so we can kind of compare the two. Okay, so that was the one on Instagram and now I'll play the one that I just created right here. So as you can see, both videos are kind of unique and interesting in their own way. I think that's the really cool thing about this process is that you can create this same video a hundred different times and it'll still come out unique and interesting a hundred different times, obviously, because, you know, AI is never going to spit out the same exact picture twice. So I think this is a great way to create unique content that's just going to be interesting every single time, no matter how many times that you do it. Overall, if I wanted to spend a bit more time, I could have made this one a bit better 
better. But I think considering that I barely used my brain at all and basically just copied and pasted, it came out pretty good considering I made the whole thing pretty quickly, which by the way, if you want to see my list of my top favorite automation tools, AI tools, how I monetize my social media channels and everything like that, I will of course have the link for that down in the description below. So feel free to check that out. In any case, that's pretty much it for this one. And I will see you in the next video.